Hey guys, I've just had one of the best days I've ever had in swimming because I finally got to see what it's like to test tech suits out so that they can be better. And I'm here joined by Alex DeBoer. Introduce yourself, what's going on today? Well, first of all, thank you for coming because it was really an interesting journey today to see, and also for you, I think, to see what 100%. we're actually doing. So our, our mission, our goal in the business, forget the word business, the passion is to make you guys faster faster through science and that's what we did today yep. we did science you've been testing suits yep. we've been testing different suits against one another we had Nadia here who's working for us now for several years already who be fitting the suits on the millimeter centimeter yep. working out working the different fabrics and uh, and get data through Jacek Jacek is uh, from Poland uh, his company Sparks we do test the view to max your lactate your heart rate and there's a lot more we can actually do on testing. Um, but for us, for the swimsuits, this is what we need and what we can use as a data. And uh, yeah, I think you enjoyed what, you, what, we, what we're doing. Uh, not only did I enjoy what we've done today, obviously the video is going to play out and you can see what we got up to. But be before we do that, I just want to tell you how this came about because two weeks ago I uploaded a video that was a review of your suit. Yeah. And um, I'll be honest with you, Alex, I've not said this to you yet. But I was a little anxious about, normally I'd maybe tag the brand in it on Instagram because <laughs> I was not super positive. I didn't do that and I was kind of like, well, I don't know how they're going to respond. And I actually got a response from your colleague, David, my part my partner, yeah. um, on the YouTube video and it was really positive. And t t talk me through what you thought when you saw this video and how it ended up that I'm here stood next to you yeah. making a video and we're testing suits. Well, obviously, you, you have a lot of experience. You've been testing suits for mm -hmm. many years. You've been wearing suits for many years. And we are, I would say, the new kids on the block. We come from a background from triathlon. I'm personally, I'm an engineer in aeroplanes, so I know a little bit about science. And, but we wanted to bring this to a higher level. So what for us is better than actually invite the specialists, including the top athletes, including the swimsuit guy, including more people to help us to actually grow the brand and to build a business where everybody going into pools go faster. Let's see what we got up to today in the flume. I hope you enjoy the video. So today uh, the main purpose is to uh, check the which kind of items, yep. which kind of, kind jammers. of jammers yep. are more economical, more efficient, efficient yeah, yep. in the swimming. So uh, we are using a lot of uh, sensors, yep. uh, sophisticated, my uh, right heart rate here. monitor, uh, muscle oxygenation sensor, MOXIE, and we will uh, check the ventilation by VO2 master metabolic analyzer. Yep. So these are the V2 of the Freedium Jammer. These are the improved version of the one I reviewed in my video. So we're gonna see if these are better. I'm gonna try this suit first, then I'm gonna get changed, and we're gonna do this test again in the exact suit that I reviewed a little bit more poorly the other day on my channel. So we're gonna see if they're already making improvements, and then the whole reason this trip is so that they can not just make this improvement, but hopefully make improvements way, way beyond what they've already done, and, and eventually have the best suit on the market. Perfect. The idea of the day was to repeat the same standardized test with different suits. I personally wish I'd brought a lot more suits and repeated this test with as many different subjects as I could, but for me it was going to be three different suits, two from DeBoer, one from Arena. The test was going to be a one minute swim that was going to be at a one minute 10 pace on the flume, followed by a recovery so that our vitals return to normal and then another minute at the 110 pace, basically meaning we'd do two swims in every suit. At the conclusion of every one of my minute swims, I'd return to the wall where Jassic would instantly put a mask over my face. This mask was reading the oxygen output of my lungs, and this is one of the three metrics that the ball were most interested in. The other two metrics we were reading was the muscle efficiency of my tricep from a sensor on my arm, as well as the heart rate, which was getting read by the polar monitor on my head. We could see all of these metrics in real time, which was super interesting as well. Yeah, but uh, the, this is crazy how the uh, triceps work so hard yeah. in, in swimming because uh, now you have a 66. This is a scary percentage. Okay. The maximum is 100, but it's yeah. impossible. Yeah, or in physiological, the, this kind of limit is impossible. Take it. Okay, breathe. 
Let's see this parameter, 5%, yeah? So here I am pushing off my second round of testing, and behind the scenes I've had both a rest and also changed suits. Now aesthetically the suit I'm wearing here looks identical to the previous suit, but it is a slightly different version of the same suit, the 3DM. This is the 3DM I reviewed in my previous video, and in the first bit of testing I was wearing what DeBoer called the 3DM V2, which has two major changes. The first of these major changes is that the fabric of the suit has less stretch, less give to it, so it has more compression and locks you in a lot more. The second change is the water repellency treatment where the second version actually has a lesser treatment than the original because it doesn't use Forever Chemicals PFAs. Ah, so uh, just done my first minute in the second suit. This is the suit I reviewed, the one I talked about more negatively than positively a couple of weeks ago when I was on the Andorra camp. And to be honest, just swimming in it again. It's so much looser. It feels naked compared to the other one. I don't feel any sort of hugging of my body. Um, the, the water saturation was the same in both suits. The other one still got really wet, but it definitely felt more locked in than this one. This one feels like, again, like I'm naked. Um, my heart rate's coming back down to 100 now, so I'm gonna do another minute. Something that I'd never realized about until this trip is that brands like DeBoer can make small micro refinements to their current range of tech suits that are approved by World Aquatics without having to resubmit them for approval. That means that the V2 version of this DeBoer 3DM that you saw me look at earlier in this video is not gonna be a brand new model from DeBoer, just an instant update to their current model. So I'm gonna do my third and final test here today. I've used the original DeBoer suit that I reviewed. I've tried the new DeBoer suit and definitely noticed the difference and I can't wait to see the results. And now, as a suit I'm familiar with, I'm gonna use this Arena Aquaforce MF, this Japanese suit. Um, this is, I always take this with me and I didn't come from home, otherwise I would have brought Mizuno. I would love to have used the Mizuno GX Sonic 6 MV today to really see how that compared. But this is gonna be my uh, sort of benchmark. And I, I, yeah, I'm really curious to see how the results are gonna show and what they're going to tell us but i'm going to go and do my two one minutes in this with the arm sleeve on apparently i've got the biggest triceps in the pool today which is pretty pretty big compliment considering we've got hunter armstrong in the pool so uh he's got the second biggest triceps apparently <laughs> Since before my very first tech suit review seven years ago, I've always been curious as to what in-house tests the major brands use when designing their next model. DeBoer being much newer to the tech suit scene means that they are still refining their testing process, and they assured me that what I saw was far from their final iteration. That being said, I do have some observations and even some reservations I have found during this day. The first is something more surface level, but I think it's essential that when comparing and collecting data from tech suits that you should be using a brand new model. I noticed that with Hunter's Tira Victor, his previous suit that they wanted to compare the DeBoer to, it was so old that the FINA approved tag had already fallen off. Between me, Hunter and Menno who were doing testing, on this day only Menno tested a collection of tech suits that were all brand new. Beyond that, I have some thoughts on the actual test themselves, and the first was that while swimming at 110 pace may be relevant for open water swimmers and triathletes, it was way too slow to bode any relevance to someone who races in the pool, even in the longer events. That was realised on the day, and DeBoer did have Hunter test swimming at 55 second pace per 100 instead of the 110 he originally set out to do. Me and Menno stayed at the 110 pace. The last concern with the tests themselves was that the main metrics they were collecting were all physiological, and while the flume forced you to swim at exactly the same speed every time, there are still environmental factors that would affect things like your heart rate and VO2 output, such as what drink you had before the swim or even your breathing pattern during the swim. In fact, I find it hard to believe that the biggest point of impact of the three measured metrics would be the jammer you're wearing. On top of that, DeBoer were also measuring the mu muscle oxygenation of the tricep, which makes much less sense than measuring a muscle in the thigh that would be directly affected by the compression of the suit. Just this, this one, um, I love how this one feels. It's very light, comfy, but still has some compression to it, which I think that's what people think. You can either have compression or you can have comfort. And this, this offers a little bit of both. It's not as compressive as the Mizuno, but it's just got this good hug to it but it just feels so light in the water. I've used this suit a hundred times as well. 
On a positive note for the testing side of things, it should be mentioned that I was not the only one here being tested. For the jammer testing, I was joined by Olympic champion Hunter Armstrong, who after being dropped by Tier, needed a lifeline and that is exactly what Deborah have given him, recently announcing the sponsorship of Hunter. Hunter has spent the majority of his competitive career wearing the Tier Evicta, and Deborah were interested how the Evicta would compare in their test to both the original Freedom and of course to the new refined V2 version. It should also be said that this is not the first testing trip Deborah have embarked on, in fact it is the ninth. They have previously had athletes such as Caleb Dressel, perhaps the best sprinter in swimming history, in the flume, as well as 100m butterfly Olympic champion Tori Husk. The testing they did with Tori was the most interesting to me because instead of measuring physiological factors, they were directly measuring the suit's passive drag. I think this is a much more notable metric compared to what we was doing on this day. So Hunter's tried two suits now. He's worn the DeBoer Freedom V2 and he's worn the Tira Victor. And his only real takeaway was how hard this test is. <laughs> this is one of the hardest things I've done. I mean, this is, this is a lactate set. Hi, my name is Menno Goas. I'm 29 years old and I'm from the Netherlands. And I'm a professional long distance triathlete. Last year I was fifth at the World Championships in Hawaii. Came out of the water first. Yeah, a good thing for my sponsor, the Boer, who was really happy with that. And uh, it was one of my big achievements in my triathlon career. So today I tested the open water suits, different suits, uh, two from the Boer and two from other, other brands. Uh, yeah, it's really special to swim here in the flume and do some testing. So uh, yeah, we searched a lot of data and uh, yeah, it's looked promising. De Boer also brought in triathlete Menno as a subject to test the range of open water suits on the market. Menno has previously had experience of tri suits and wetsuits, so was excited to see what the offerings for open water swimmers was like. Like Hunter and I, Menno would of course try both the V1 and V2 Freediums and compare them to the most popular open water suits on the market, most notably Arena's Arevo Open Water and the best of the rest, the Speedo Laser. I feel like the open water suit market is very stagnant. The RFO has been dominant since its release years and years ago, and there is seemingly no innovation or loud releases in this space. In all seriousness, I think the pool tech suit market suffers from a similar staleness. Major player Speedo's most used tech suit is basically the same as what they released in 2010, and Tier look like they're on a rapid transition to be a crossfit only company. While Mizuno and Arena do have a steady release of great suits, they only ever offer small improvements to their previous models. I think the industry is in need of a bold disruptor, and that certainly seems what Deborah are trying to be. They have come in hot, making their presence known by signing Caleb Dressel and other equally impressive swimmers, and have a clear ambition to make the fastest suit. While the reality is they are still a far cry from that goal, instead of sulking in the corner, they are constantly evolving their methods of testing their suits to make them better. They are the new kids on the block, but they made me believe they are in it for the long run. This whole time doing this YouTube channel, I've been intrigued at how different tech suit companies might test suits to make them better. And until this point, I've not known what anyone has done. I've only theory crafted, but I'm so grateful for De Boer for letting me come and be part of this test day. This is their ninth day at this flume testing their suits. And they've already told me they're working with Caleb Dressel to make a new suit that's gonna be even better. And they wanna have the best suit on the market by 2028. And I just wanna say, this flume is so much fun. I've had so much, such a good time. I've just come out of it for like the hundredth time. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed and had as much fun watching this video as I have making this video. If you do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and thanks for watching.